Tonight, a new tool to crack down on youth crime in Prince George's County. It comes just days after this chaotic scene at National Harbor. Business owners in the county can now request a curfew zone. Also, an executive order is in place banning unaccompanied youth at the National Harbor on weekends. Our Liana Golden is live at the harbor. Liana, what are businesses telling you tonight? Yeah, Scott, I spoke with business owners up and down the harbor here today who believe that weekend one of this youth curfew was a success, though they tell me they are eager to see if the effects will really last. You'd expect to see this stores and restaurants ready for customers instead of this. The hundreds of kids captured on camera last weekend involved in a violent brawl. Honestly, I think it's going to be great for business now that they're putting a handle on it. Meet Dorothea Nally, bartender and manager at not one but two restaurants at the National Harbor. This is all Irish and that's barbecue. She says the youth curfew banning unaccompanied minors on weekend nights from 5 p.m. to 6 a.m. could not come soon enough from both a business and personal standpoint. It's scary, especially late at night when we have to leave and we don't know where they are. Nally said the violence had gotten so bad that when she would walk to her car at night, she was constantly looking over her shoulder. I'm always escorted now, especially with the rise of the juveniles out at night. We are a restaurant, but at night time, especially on the weekends, it is more of a bar life and we can't have kids running around causing nonsense and destructing property and doing God knows what. Just three days of the curfew, she says, has already made a big difference. I didn't see anybody. I mean, I know it's new, but you know, and I, there was like a lot of uh, police officers present, which made me feel way safer. Not just for her and other businesses, but really anyone who visits the harbor. I feel like it's just going to be a safer place. I mean, we get lots of tourists. We have a con convention center right down the street. We're bringing in people from all over the world, essentially, and we just can't be having that going on when we're trying to bring in business. And that curfew picks back up Friday night at 5 p.m. So until then, Nally says she will be working and waiting to see if it is just as effective the second time around. Reporting live in Oxon Hill tonight, Liana Golden, 7 News.